Hi everyone! So I received a package from EverydayCrafts.com. I have worked with them several, several times in the past. They are my go-to company that I work with for getting diamond paintings. I will link the website down below and these items as well so you guys can find it easy. So let me share with you guys what I picked out this time. And I'm really excited because I got some different kinds of diamond art stuff. So this is my first time doing a tin box. So let's check everything out. So all the diamonds were inside. Now the thing I'm really curious about is what it looks like. Oh, this is different, interesting. Okay, so I'll show you on some of the other stuff. They usually give you a pattern on where to lay out the pieces and this one doesn't. This is a tin box with like glue on top. So we don't want to touch the glue and make it less sticky but this one is a Hello Kitty. So I'll leave it linked below so you guys can check it out. And then there appears to be more glue over here. So there's no pattern to this either. Oh, look, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it actually has Hello Kitty's face and it says Hello Kitty right here. And then the rest of the side is pink. So that's interesting. Okay, so let's check out what came with this kit. So we have a tray, which is cool. This is different than what we normally get. I'll show you the tray that we normally get. It's normally like a green tray. Let's see. Here is our wax. So you're going to take your pin and you see there's a little hole right here. So you're gonna stick your pin into the wax and then that's what you're gonna use to pick up your little rhinestones. So those are all very important tools to have. Here are some larger rhinestones and they're kind of like a very, very light yellow, kind of ivory, but more light yellow color. Let's see, these are some white rhinestones, but these are bigger if you compare them. These are larger, so they're the same color, but the mama and then the baby right here, two different sizes. Then we have some clear rhinestones. We have yellow, which I would guess would be the nose. See, this is gonna be really interesting because there's no key on where to put them. And then here's the black, so that would be the eyes. And then here's the pink. So we have the Papa Bear here, which is our larger size. Then we have our Mama Bear here. And then we have our baby. So I'm gonna say this is for the side right here that you would use. There's those. And then there's this last piece right here. Which, does that match these? What does this match? Nope, that's more yellow. So it matches like this one. So, oh, two different sizes. So this is the small one and this is the larger one. So just the rhinestone clear. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to look at this and play with it to figure out which goes where. So let's look at this again really fast. I hope I'm not ruining this. So the white pieces would be for her face. The black would be her eyes. The yellow, oh, is it her nose, right? Yeah. So the yellow is the nose. The pink is for her bow. And then I'm gonna say that these clear ones are gonna be for the silver that goes around the edge and like her whiskers. So I'm gonna say that that's what they're supposed to be. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Let me check the box. Well, no, because there's no key on here. Okay, so this is very different. So let me show you what I'm talking about when I say that there's normally like 
a key that's kind of your instructions so let me put all this stuff back in here because i don't want to lose anything oh see i already missed one there okay let's put that away let me show you on these let's open these up so these are some keychains that i always get that i love creating so see this is the tray that we normally get it's normally green it has little ridges so there's that one. Here are some more sugar skulls that I got because November is when we celebrate Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. So I got these sugar skulls here. So that's what they look like. So these are different than the last ones that I got. And these are in acrylic. And then, see, when I was saying, like, there's normally, like, a key. So, these have numbers. So, that's how you know where to put which diamond rhinestone. So, when you open these, you can see right here that there's numbers. So, this is 21. So, let's see which one has this number. Let me open this up so I can show you what the rhinestone. Let's see, look, here's 17. Oh, you see here, this is easier to show you. So the eye is 17, and then the baggie says 17. So that's what I say when it has a key to tell you where to put which stone. So this bag is 17. You put it right here on the eye. So let's open this up so I can show you what we have in here. So this one has our beautiful blue stones which are going to go in the eye then we have this black i love this black look at that it has like an iridescence on the top that is going to be beautiful we have a yellow a red like a these diamond blue look at this white with that iridescence again absolutely gorgeous purple Oh, look at these. These are like raindrops. Can you see that? Those are so pretty. Oh, they come in red, yellow. We have some gold. Yes, you guys know how much I love my gold. We have some blue little water drops. Oh, these are fun. Look at those. They're like green, but still have like a little shine and iridescence to them. Some big red circles, some gold. We have some larger of those water drops. And we have some like little diamond shapes. So that's going to go for our skeletons over here. Which are going to be so fun to put together. So that's what came in that kit. And then our last kit. How cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. We are going to be making some Christmas stockings. I love that this world of diamond painting and diamond art has spread more than just making a canvas. It is so satisfying to get these smaller projects and then you complete it and say like, well, this take maybe like 20 minutes. And it's so satisfying that you're done. In 20 minutes, you have a beautiful piece of art that you've now completed. So love that. So we have this little stocking right here that has Santa. Oh, it does. I was wondering if you could actually hang it. How cute it does. There is a ribbon right here that you could go ahead and hang this up. Whoopsie, I dropped it. There's still enough space if you want to go ahead and iron on some letters so you can make a name. So we have Santa. Honestly, I would put a rhinestone right here on the snowflake if there's any left over. So we'll have to see how that goes. So Santa, a snowman and a reindeer come in this kit. And then let's see our stone. So in our kit, we have our tray again, our wax and our pen. You guys, I have so many of these cause I'm still using the same wax since like I started diamond painting like a year ago. I still have the same wax. So I just, I keep these. Like I have a bunch of these that I don't know what to do with. So yeah maybe i'll start giving them away to people because they are just really useful if you use 
rhinestones or um, like little enamel dots. It makes it so much easier to lay down when you're doing your projects. So in this kit, what do we have? We have clear, orange, yellow, red, more, oh, so maybe this is like the champagne color. Brown, black, different kind of brown, some oranges. Perfect, that must be all for the reindeer, those other colors. So yeah, here's my next projects, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I will link the website down below in the description box and all of these items so you can get directly to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.